Dean, Paul, it's great to get the chance to catch up with you and uh, hear what Nextivity has been up to. But first and foremost, uh, Dean, can you maybe talk me through how COVID has impacted your business? Hey, thanks, Sean. Great to be here. Um, yeah, you know, obviously when March rolled around, uh, it was a surprise to the whole world. And uh, I would be lying to say it didn't impact the business at all. Um, but a good business pivots a little, right? So uh, there was a little bit of slowdown in the enterprise uh, side initially as, you know, the industry got its bearings um, and, you know, tenancy was Im impacted a little bit. Um, but then the economy started moving again. And uh, we in particular uh, have a, another line of products that is more residential uh, focused and the self I go and self I solo those sort of products, the Duo, the Pro, really took off as people moved home, uh, uh, having their offices there. And of course, uh, kids uh, were at home doing school. So we had uh, actually phenomenal growth uh, in those segments uh, out of the gate. Yeah, you mentioned that pivot. I think we've really seen that across the board. You specifically mentioned this move to work from home and for distance learning, but just uh, maybe you could talk a little bit more about these growth markets and specifically where you're seeing traction for your coverage products. So uh, on those sort of products, um, uh, again, we, we've seen the, the growth in uh, the residential, but the enterprise, the public safety products uh, we have had uh, a lot of growth in mul multitudes of sectors, uh, whether it's that ma manufacturing and distribution side, where uh, suddenly uh, there was a lot of stuff that was offshore, moving onshore, or increased capacity. We all get packages from Amazon. Um, they need cellular coverage in their facilities. Uh, the government space, uh, healthcare, uh, there were pop-up hospitals, um, things like that. Um, the grocery stores, uh, you suddenly had a lot of online shopping uh, and folks coming in with their phones that were uh, delivery drivers and they needed connectivity or um, virtual pay options, uh, touchless pay options uh, becoming uh, a big factor within uh, commerce at stores. All of those requiring, requiring cellular coverage solutions. And that's where our self I Quattro, you know, at the beginning of the year, we had launched Quattro 4000. That came into play. And, you know, Paul, I also wanted to catch up with you. Uh, something we've talked about before, but is what Nextivity is doing to address public safety and an emergency response from a product perspective. Maybe you could give us a little bit of an update in that regard. Yeah, thanks, Sean. Yeah, so as we've spoken before and as Nextivity has uh, publicly announced, we've released our Selfie Quattro Red for the ERRCS in-building public safety solution. This is an all-in-one, first of its kind, all-encompassing ERRCS system combined with a FirstNet cellular system in multiple bands. And this has been built upon our existing um, IntelliBoost platform where we've seen a lot of success on the cellular side and we've carried that over to the public safety side. So yes, our, our system integrators are excited. Many of them have already taken on the product, Sean. In addition, let me mention that the Selfie Go Red continues to see growth with FirstNet. It helps fire departments needing portable communication solutions and the wildfires that we're continuing to see in the country and the pop-up hospitals. FirstNet coverage solutions are continuing to grow for both fire stations and police stations. So the self I go red as well has seen great growth, Sean. Hey, that's great to hear. And you know, a lot of these uh, trends that we've been talking about so far, not necessarily unique to the U.S. And uh, Dean, I know growth in Europe has been something that's been a priority for Nextivity for some time now. Maybe you can give us an update on uh, how that's going. Yeah, so, so let's not forget, that's actually... You know, 13 years ago, that's where we initially launched was Europe. So we, we have had a, uh, a, a bread and butter based business in Europe uh, from the very beginning. But this, this past uh, year, we've seen 
uh, Cellfi Solo uh, uh, be introduced in uh, more countries, more operators uh, across uh, the European continent. Um, and uh, the, the type of solutions have only expanded. So uh, some local legislations have required uh, coverage uh, to be in uh, you know, municipalities. So there's a requirement to be in any public buildings. So uh, the operators have joined together and uh, uh, created uh, a solution um, that there is multi-operator uh, 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 capability w with Cellfi Solo. So that's been exciting. Um, then Cellfi Quattro continues to expand uh, in, in more and more uh, sectors in Europe, just like uh, the US. So, so that's been exciting uh, to see. Um, but just like uh, in America, where this uh, stay at home order has uh, really uh, grown the need for residential uh, solutions, it's done so there as well. So the online business uh, for uh, this sort of space, which is a specialized online space, uh, has really taken off uh, in, in Europe as well. So you're seeing more coverage solutions um, in, into the residents. Uh, now, if you remember that, that change in the UK, uh, in which uh, it changed the law and opening up so a customer can buy a solution uh, on the open market, uh, where in some countries uh, in Europe, you're not allowed to do that. You have to go through the operator, but the open uh, uh, market is a thing with Ofcom uh, in the UK space. So that is, that is creating growth uh, for that market as well. And you know, one other thing I wanted to talk about today is this expansion into fiber. You know, you can't have wireless without wires. And when it comes to cellular fiber, key piece of the puzzle. So, Paul, maybe you can tell us a little bit about your plans there. Absolutely. So it's official. The, the, you know, the, the customer base, the system integrators have been asking. Nextivity has officially grown into fiber. So what does that mean? Well, take our Cellfi Quattro 4000, our latest um, active hybrid DAS solution, and we've added a fiber hub. This is a fiber hub that works over a single mode fiber. It works over a multi-mode fiber. What does that really mean? Well, now we're able to double our capacity with a single donor source, whether that's a small cell fed solution that the small cell feeds the Quattro 4000, or whether that's off air. What that fiber has really allowed us to do, Sean, is it's allowed us to go into bigger buildings now, sky rises, campuses, unique applications like, like mining. We can support now a 1.2 mile distance of fiber between the Quattro head end, which we call our network unit and a fiber hub. So you can place coverage now over a mile away using this fiber hub. So, there's been a lot of demand for this. Customers have been asking and Nextivity has delivered. And we're gonna to continue to see fiber grow on our product roadmap. And we'll be making some more announcements in that space too. Well, it sounds like you're, you're positioned to really capture a big opportunity there. And uh, it's great to catch up on all the other aspects of the business, Dean, Paul, I really appreciate your time today. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Thanks all.